So I realized I've been sucking at getting vlog footage. So, oh, this is gonna be annoying if I turn it off. We yesterday painted this whole room. We painted the ceilings as well and all the walls. This wall is actually gonna be a navy blue, but we basically primed it. And then looks like mom just finished the closet and I just finished painting the ceiling to the hallway. And if it looks patchy a little bit, that's because it's just drying in certain areas, but I assure you it's all covered. In the end, it's all gonna look like this one where it's all covered. It's already such a big difference. Look at this. This room looks so much bigger, so much brighter. It's gonna be really nice when it's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the hallway. I'm gonna start trimming it out and then just painting it. All right, guys, we're back at the house today. Today is, I think, day three of working on the house. So getting a lot done. I just wanna update you guys on some of the things we've done. So the last time I vlogged was the day me and my mom were here and it was our first day painting um, the one bedroom and starting on the hallway. If you guys remember in the last vlog, I think I mentioned that there was like a bathtub out front. That's gone and the little wheels that were out front are gone as well. My dad and Mondo have already taken everything out of the kitchen and they are just, they took down all the cabinets that they could. These ones they left here for right now um uh, the appliances are in the garage uh they took out the pantry and the trimming because this whole wall if you guys don't know this whole wall is going down it's ready to be knocked down now and as you can see we got lots of snacks here here's the hallway i've actually finished painting it the ceiling and the walls are all painted now white and this bedroom is also finished um the only thing that's gotta get an accent wall in this bedroom but other than that this bedroom is finished with its paint so now we'll be moving on to this bedroom so i'm probably gonna tackle the ceiling in this one again because my mom does not like doing the ceilings not that i like it either but you know i'm younger so i'm gonna tackle that for her so i'm gonna do the ceilings um we need to patch all the holes in the wall so we can start painting and all that fun stuff. We're probably gonna go look at carpet today, get some carpet samples, decide what carpet we want in the hall in these bedrooms. Yes, it's looking very good. The lights will be changed as well, so that will not stay there. But that's what we've done so far. But yeah, I'll show you guys the garage, what that situation looks like right now. So we did end up moving some of our things in and then we have a cooler with some drinks right now. The shelves over here, and we've kept all the trim from like the pantry and all that so that way and there's more trim there so that way if um we need some trim since we're taking out that wall we want it to all match because it might be hard to try to match this trim it's, it's probably original from 1960 so we gotta salvage as much as we can okay so we have uh olympic gold medalist tukey over here always doing stunts tukey i want to give an update on what we've done. So I think I mentioned in the last time I filmed that this hallway was done. Either that or we were almost finishing it. There's Mo. I'll go into our bedroom first. So they're working on scraping up the disintegrating carpet because it was really old. Um, so once they scrape this all up, uh, we'll be putting a new carpet back here, but we haven't picked out what yet. And they are putting up batten board right now. I don't know if this is technically considered batten board because it's not the original batten board like design, but it's the same type of wood. Uh, we decided to go vertical in here just because I really like how it looks. And we're painting this all navy. Um, I wish we would have painted the wall navy before we put the boards up. It would be easier to paint. Like you'll see in Vivian's room what I'm meaning by that, but um, we'll just have to paint it all after these boards dry because they had to use liquid nail behind them to make sure they really were stuck and then they also put actual nails in as well um but yeah this is gonna look amazing so this is our room walk to vivian's room what it's looking like right now sorry about the loud fan i'll try to talk louder so we actually had to do three coats of white whereas in the hall and in our bedroom we only had to do two because it was a lighter color, but in here it was that blue color and it was so dark and hard to cover up. So we did do three coats of white all around. We painted the ceilings as well. We painted the closet, closet's done. And then this is where her batten board's gonna go and it's only gonna be half up the wall like regular traditional batten board is. I'm gonna put in inspo pictures on um, what our bedroom was like and then I'll put one right here as well so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we're only doing halfway up. Um, so that's why I painted halfway first and then we'll put the boards on it and then I'll paint the boards once they dry. So that is what it looks like. You wanna show them what, we, what daddy did? Daddy put up her ceiling fan. It looks like it's yellow, but it's not. Did daddy do that for you? <laughs> yeah, there's her dad. And he's filling in all the cracks with that stuff right there. And 
that's what her ceiling fan looks like. I don't know why it looks like it's yellow in this lighting, but it's just wood. But we didn't put on that last bar because that um, return vent is actually going to get changed, like updated. So my dad didn't put on the last board yet. She is so crappy. She's ready for bed. But yeah, we just came here tonight basically to like for him to do that. Um, And then also we had our electrician be here today and he has to come back tomorrow to finish his work. But um, I'll show you guys what he did today. Oh, also I'll show you this wall. So first, this is our wall, which I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite wall in the whole house. But it needs one more coat because as you can see, like some spots, you can see the white peeking through. But... I love it and I think it's gonna be my favorite. This, we've decided to eliminate this light because once we take this wall out, it's gonna look kind of weird to have a floating light right there when we're already gonna have island lights right here. So we're probably gonna move a light over there because there's no light there. But our electrician took out like the switch for this light. He took out the th uh, thermostat that was on this wall and so that's why there's a bunch of holes. He had to take out all the wirings. He took out wires over here, wires in there. So um, this is our new thermostat. Mondo wanted it. This is called an eco bean. Eco bean. That's what he recommended. I wanted yeah. a nest, but he said people have troubles with yeah, them have trouble with stuff. Them, so. so he said this is pretty, yeah, he recommended that. pretty similar, but doesn't run into as many problems. So that's what it is. So there wasn't an outlet in here. So he put one in here with um, the light switch in it. So that way he didn't have to cut into any of the wall or anything. These outlets are not GFI. I don't know what that means, but that means like they're not waterproof or something like that. I think like you can't have them near water. So we have those that he brought that he's going to put in tomorrow. There's another one right there. And then he put in a new fuse box for us because the old one was not code and it was very, very old. Um, tomorrow, I know he mentioned getting this set up to put a disposal in here or, um, for the sink. Um, I think he was going to work on updating like some of the register vents like that one over there. That one's leaving. Yes. But he got to put something in over it still. He's not going to put anything there. He's going to put it in the, the floor. floor. But yeah, so a couple more things he's got to do for us tomorrow. And also a lot of these outlets out here, if you can see, they only have like the two prongs instead of the third, which means they're not grounded. But a lot of the house is for some reason just here and like one outlet in the kitchen isn't. Um, So he's going to fix those for us. But yeah, that's... yeah. she's ready to go to bed. Okay, so as you can see, we are destroying the wall today, which is so exciting. Ella took some hits at it too, but I didn't get that on film. Maybe if she takes more, I'll film it. But yeah. she actually did a good job breaking it. Um, the babies are just watching some Coco Melon. But um, I wanted to show that I got some footage of it, so I'll answer it while I'm explaining. But we're probably gonna have to, we are going to have to, not probably, gonna um, do different floors in the whole house because the hardwood that we thought was still okay and underneath it is actually only on half of the house, like goes into the dining room and then half of the living room. So that would look really stupid to only have that much wood and then have to like figure something out for the rest of the house. So we're just gonna end up covering that little bit and just doing some other type of wood flooring probably not real wood because that's too expensive but we'll do something something along those lines to make it look good but we're just gonna run it through all these bedrooms too and the hallway so that way we don't have to do half carpet back here it'll just last better longer but i'll show you what the electrician did today put the vents in the floor so there's no longer vent right there it's right there replaced that did that one that one and that. We got a new light for right here. I'll turn it on. It's super, super bright though. Like very, very bright, but it's nice. So we're just gonna leave it. There's that vent. And then there was a huge, long heat register across here. So it's now just two separate vents. Ceiling fan in there and that vent. And that has been changed as well. like cleaned up all of this took out all the carpet and mondo finished taking off the boards 
on the wall. Okay, so I am at the house right now and I realize it's been a really long time since I have like shown you guys the progress. This is what the house looks like right now. So my dad and Mondo have ended up redoing the whole wall over there with drywall because once we took the paneling off, it actually took chunks of the wall out and it was just gonna be a lot more work to patch it than just like, and it maybe wouldn't have looked good when we painted it, like it probably would've been LC. So we just drywalled it to get a fresh all level new wall. And then when they took out the wall that was right here, They've now fixed the ceiling. Um, and then, you know, they took out a part of wall right here, which led to just deciding to redo that wall as well. So they redid that wall too. And then um, this corner edge here came out to probably about like right there. Um, yeah, and so it wasn't gonna be flush. So they ended up taking that back to make it all flush and just like flow nicer than having like a little, le like, I don't know, a little like bulky corner out, I don't know. So they also moved this over here because this was like over here they move that there and there's like two pieces of drywall that we can return or do something with because we didn't use them but yeah that is what they've done these vivis vivi say hi she likes to walk around her house and all the obstacles and she's gonna walk in my cabinets her shoes coming off i can't wait to get a hold of this kitchen but i think kitchen if this is our kitchen we're eating <laughs> this is a terrible house i can't wait to get a hold of this bathroom but i'm kind of waiting now waiting now until we um move in because no point yep and they just did a little patchwork so right there there was the old doorbell so they patched that um patching all of the wall where the um, vents were and so there's another one over here that they patched Oh yeah, we got a window unit for right now. Decided right now to use the window unit while the majority, oh gosh, of this summer has been spent just working on the house instead of actually living in it. And then um, next summer, we're probably gonna put AC in since we'll actually be living here. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I have decided to quit filming the renovation now because it's basically done and I don't wanna spoil the end results. So the next video you see about the house will be a tour of what we've done and like the end result of everything. Um, but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this has been a compilation of the last two and a half months now. So we're really ready to move in, really ready to have it done and we are almost there, um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.